gotta find my way about this ain't how I'm supposed to be Feel like I'm settling for less, that's why I gotta leave They may not understand that it's not for them to see Cause it's my vision and it's not yours, no And you won't get it until reverse rolls around And around I put my dreams on hold, you tell me how that sound I wish my dreams could pay cause I work for right now Ain't had nobody else that they gon' hold me down Voila Chase these dreams and know my goal. Chase these dreams and know my goal. Hi everybody, this is Let's Vamos and we have our second guest today who is Anna Crane. And we are excited to talk with her today. She is a licensed uh, counselor, correct? Yes. And we are joined to get today to talk together about mental health and also inclusivity and, of course, Pride Month, right? And we're going to talk a little bit about some of the, the other side of the, those dynamics and especially regarding mental health and our community. So yeah. thank you so much, Anna, for, for being here and joining me and talking and supporting and being open and all those things, right, about... Yeah. For, for Pride Month, we really want to make this an uh, exciting month for people to educate themselves about it. So let's let's get a little background though first before we get started. So I actually found you through Contiga Flower Therapy. Yes. So tell us a little bit how you started that. Or, yes. Or what that is exactly. Yeah. So I started Contigo actually in 2018, which is so crazy because that feels so long ago now. Um, and I started it because I am a therapist at a school or was at the time and I needed a lot of self-care. We had um, the Santa Fe shooting actually totally triggered me to need something to take care of myself. I was really good at pouring into other people but not necessarily taking care of me. And my own therapist suggested, oh, well, what do you love? And I was like, I really like arranging flowers but I don't know that much about it. Right. And so I started taking flower classes on the side and then became a certified florist. And I was like, wait, I love flowers and I love mental health and I like deeply believe that flowers and mental health have the power to heal and connect people and celebrate people and that was kind of how it all got started. So that's kind of why I created my Instagram account and to spread mental health tips and tricks but also just a joy of beautiful things and love and happiness on the internet. Yes, and that's one of the things that drew me to you specifically is how you incorporated that the flowers are beautiful, the pay, all the things that you do, and just Thank just kind of putting your your whole um, what is it all of your knowledge into that. And Thank you. There's so many. Uh, so I am personally a big supporter of mental health. I have my own counselor. I have my own like therapy sessions. And I think sometimes people though don't realize that you don't necessarily always have to go to counseling to to yeah. heal or get therapy to some extent. Yeah. So I really appreciate that you are showing other ways of how to kind of heal. Well, and I feel like it's one of those things that we we want, as mental health professionals, we want it to be more accessible to people. We don't want people to feel the stigma of not talking about things or, you know, keeping it quiet or only talking to another friend. You know, especially with kids, we talk to, I always tell my kids, like, you could be talking to another 15 year old who is experiencing the same things or talk to a grown up. So it's not only about talking how to talk to your kids, but also how to manage things on your own and also how to be a safe, trusted adult for kids and all, because a lot of our kids aren't talking to people and we want them to. And even thinking about Pride Month, like we want our adults to be safe for our kids because you know, even if you don't identify the same way, you can still be an open, safe, loving place for another person. Right, so a supporter, right? Yeah, absolutely. I think so there's so much of this stigma of that if you are, just because you're not a part of the community doesn't mean you don't can't support the community, right? Right. So I, you shared a really awesome reel yes. about those words and things that, that are no longer, you know, I, we identify as safe words for the pride community or for the LGBTQIA yes, community. Absolutely. So let's talk a little bit about how we can have these conversations a little bit more open, but not so like, I guess like what is back in the day, like the 19th. Well, and it is, I mean, and it's, I feel like even talking to my parents or certain parents that I work with, um, cause I work with their kids, they'll say like, well, that's just, I thought that that's the word that you're supposed to use. Or I think that I'm not, I'm not really sure if I believe in that, or that doesn't really align with my values. Right. And that's real. And I think that that's something that, 
it's okay to acknowledge like this might be a hard conversation for you, but just because you don't identify that way doesn't mean you can't love them. And so what I always say is educate yourself and don't be defensive if somebody corrects you. That's really hard. Um, <laughs> because we always want to be right. <laughs> yeah, because we always want to be right. But it's okay to say, hey, I don't know, teach me. Right. right? And I think that that's something that uh, adults in particular can be afraid of, um, of just saying like, oh, I don't, I don't know that thing. Um, but if you're not comfortable saying like, oh, teach me, look it up yourself. There's right. so many resources and I can share some of them with you of places that we can educate ourselves. That's a big one. And then also just making sure that you are talking to the, the people that you love and asking questions, not just assuming that you know everything, mm -hmm. um, assuming the best in other people and assuming that they want to talk to you and they want you to be an open space because if someone's shared something with you, that means that they trust you. Right. So yeah. lean into that trust yeah. and make sure that that's, that's what you're really and, and they're you, celebrating. You, have, you bring up so many good points because I think one, like I said, we tend to don't want to be wrong. Yes. And two, we also have, there's also this other half of, well, we know everything. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yes. I always feel like I always, I, I work mostly with kids and I always tell my kids, like, I know your grown ups are going to feel like they know everything. And it's your responsibility sometimes to make sure they get better. There's a lot of times that we have to make sure that we're helping kids get better, but also like we have to educate ourselves and kids can help us get better too. Yeah. Or other people, people that we love. One of the things I also wanted to talk a little bit about, uh, not too much because it, it is, it is a really still, I think raw topic yeah. is the topic of the mass shooting yeah. that happened earlier, um, excuse me, uh, late uh, May. Yeah. And you know, the tra when in tragic times we tend to some some of us just don't know what how to do. what to do what yeah. right the right words to say yeah. whether it's to our children whether it's to the the people in charge as well right yeah. the people like you know the schools the all of those people that are our leaders in our community yeah. any words of advice as far as especially for to tell our kids especially yeah absolutely I think. First of all, just affirming that they're safe, right? I heard you talking earlier about safety and how that's so important. And it is, I feel like it's so important to make sure our kids know they're safe with us, they're safe at school, they are safe, um, and that they are safe in general when we prepare in certain ways. So talking to them about what does it look like, what does it feel like for them when they're yeah. safe? Asking that question, right? Because sometimes they'll say, oh, I feel safe with you, or I feel safe with this teacher, or yeah. I feel safe with, you know, my friends are, uh, you know, some, sometimes we call it a transitional op object in therapy, but in, in, in mental health, but basically like if they have something with them, that's from you. So asking like, do, what do you feel better if you take something with you all the time that reminds you of me, like a bracelet or a necklace or something like that, or, you know, just something that they can have with them at all times. So that's a big thing. Just like talking about what safety feels like for them because it is scary and this is scary for the adults and I think that that's something that's really hard and we have to be careful of is making sure we're not talking all the time about how scary it is or blaming people right. um, because that's really easy to do yep. when we're living in fear right. um, but being aware of the way we talk about you know tragedy in front of our kids yeah. and making sure we can be honest and open and say like this scares me and it should be scary, but you're okay. And I'm gonna fight to make sure you're okay. Well, I'm really glad we had you on because yeah. one, you know, Let's Vamanos is about advocating for the community. So Absolutely. you are definitely an advocate for the community in all shapes and forms and ways. So I really appreciate that. Thank you. Because yeah. that is what I love to do as well as advocate for the community. The other reason why I love to love that we have you on is because you're inspiring other people oh, as you. well to be open and to not be afraid to educate themselves, to support others, and I really appreciate that as well. So, thank you so much. Yes, thank you for having me. Yes. It was so much fun. So, if we want to support you and con or contact you in any shape or form, how can we do so? Yes, so you can reach out on Contigo Flower Therapy on Instagram, and that's also my Gmail account, and it's also <laughs> my website. So, Contigo Flower Therapy is really it. It'll get you to me. Awesome, awesome. Yes, thank you. But thank you. you so much, and as always, guys, thank y'all for the love and support, and let's vamonos. Bye. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss our next episode. Thank you to our sponsors for all the love and support.